Hey guys, I'm back. What's going on? How's life? I missed you guys so, so much. Um, so, quick apologies to all of my subscribers um, as to why I've been gone for a couple weeks. Um, almost like slash embarrassed to tell you guys because it's like not like a good reason. I'm not going to be like, I moved and... I did some fun stuff and I'm over here cleaning up because when I get nervous I clean. Let me go ahead and just start from like the beginning. So three weeks, three weeks ago, two weeks ago I can't remember, on May 16th I was going to post a vlog for you guys. I was on my way home, I was almost done editing the video and, all, and I needed to go ahead and work on my thumbnail. Um, but unfortunately the gods, destiny, fate had other plans for me and I got in a pretty serious car accident. Um, so I wasn't able to do anything so that day I was like taken by the ambulance to the hospital. I had to have some surgery because I was injured on my knee. So like totally not like a sob story at all. I'm not trying to make you guys feel like, ooh, I'm so sorry. No. I'm just letting you guys know that there was a real reason as to why I wasn't able to upload or edit just because moving around was so hard. Even sitting on my chair how I am now just was excruciating. So I'm really glad that I'm able to like get back on my feet. Um, I still have to have these puppies with me everywhere I go. Um, I'm sorry for being so late you guys. It totally was not something I expected. Um, I wish that I could make a for it. But I will be uploading weekly videos and like this is why I had to do this makeup look because I've had so many friends say um, do another makeup look. I haven't done a makeup tutorial thing since like the beginning of the year. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and play with some new palettes play with some fun colors. I feel like pink looks super pretty on brown eyes. It looks good on every eye, but I have brown eyes, so I especially love it. So yeah, this is what I did for you guys today. This makeup look. Um, I hope that you guys like this look. So also, for those of you that follow me on social media, thank you, thank you so, so much for all the love and support while I was in my downtime. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, I'll go ahead and post those down below, just like my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat, which I post some funny stuff. And yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Let's just hop into the video because I will chit chat forever. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my hair back out of the way. So I'm going to go into my Too Faced Glitter Glue, so um, just as an eye primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and packed that on my eyes and I got too much but it's okay so I'll just make it work I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the top and on the bottom pretty generously I guess okay you guys and I'm gonna let you know right now that I have a mess of palettes like sitting in this little corner because I'm about to use like a lot of palettes so that's about to happen Okay, so the first palette I'm going to go ahead and use is my Naked 3 palette. Yes, I freaking love this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and use the color Limit. This is my transition color. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on with this cute little um, blending brush just right in the crease. I'm going to take it all through. Just with windshield wiper motions, I'm going to go ahead and add it all in the crease. And I literally just dipped in the wrong color. This is what happens when you don't wear makeup for like um, three weeks. You forget what color is what. <laughs> you go back and forth. Oh my goodness. Like look at how awful that looks right now. I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm shooketh like this. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to go ahead and we'll fix it. it the color I accidentally dipped into was Nooner. So I'm going to have to darken it up. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this Morphe palette. And this is in... I have no idea what number this is. Morphe 35A. And I just want to show you guys that it's like in the box. And I literally haven't been able to play with it. But my sister has already destroyed it. Like, not destroyed it bad, but like can you tell that she's already played with these colors? Like I don't know how the Morphe palettes work as far as like names. Because I don't see anything. There is this really pretty kind of like court. And I just dipped my finger in it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. It's kind of like a corally pink. It's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just get like a smaller bl uh, blending brush. I'm going to dip that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and just build it on the outer corner. 
and like look at this oh my gosh this color is gorgeous okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to this side right here and i'm just gonna take it out to the like just kind of like halfway and then down sweep like sweep it down on the lid i'm gonna go ahead and just darken this up a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here this um kind of reddish pink color and we're just going to use that just focusing it out on the outer corner so that it's just a darker deeper set so i'm just going to use the same exact brush and just kind of deepening that up so like if you guys can see that that's just a little bit a little bit more like dark on that side that part is like temporarily done because i'm going to go ahead and focus on this emitter like mitter there's a middle section really quick i'm gonna go ahead and go into my shape tape and it is in the color light sand and this i'm gonna go ahead and put just right here in the corner just so when i put the color on top it's gonna be like really vibrant i have just like this brush that i oh just gonna go ahead and put that on just the inner corner like of the eye well like it's more than the inner corners like inner corner and half so And I'm just doing this strictly on the lid. And you guys, don't worry about blending it right now. Like, it looks like a pretty harsh line. We're going to blend that out in a second. I'm going to go into my Moon Dust from Urban Decay. Go ahead and use this color right here. If it'll focus. Go ahead and use, like, this flat brush. I love these thick, like, flat brushes to add um, eyeshadow, especially when you want it to pack it on. I would say, like, spray your all-nighter, but I'm, like, basically out. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip in there. So I'm just going to dip it in there. Squeeze the excess. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip it on both sides. It's kind of, like, creamy texture now, and it's... All right, I'm just going to go ahead and add that on top now. This is super like, like a pearly pink. Can you guys see the difference? So I have gone ahead and added that cute eyeshadow onto the lid. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get that, that brush. I'm not adding any extra product, the brush that we had for the pink. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend out through. Actually blending it so that it looks blended versus just very like one line that's it so by the power of editing i have my foundation on have like my highlight going on so now i'm going to finish the rest of my eye look <laughs> my sister i think she's going to come in or she is going to come in hi nati so i'm going to go ahead and just work on my brows so really quick i'm just going to go back into my naked palette naked three palette and i'm going to go ahead and go into stranger or strange yeah Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of put this on my brow bone a little bit. Now I'm going to go into my pomade, um, Danastasia pomade, and this is in the medium brown. So with my brows, I like to go ahead and just shape, like outline them first. So I'm just going to go ahead and outline this here to get all the way down to the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it on the top. Now my brows are naturally like pointed but I like to round them off so I'm gonna go ahead and take this up and then I bring it down like this so I curve it so it looks more roundish and fuller I literally fake my brows to be the shape that they're not and this I didn't tell you guys but this is just like an angled um, brow brush but now I'm gonna go ahead and get in there and start darkening it how sharp is that brow looking right now though so they're all filled in but I don't really add any product to here because I want them to look gradiated so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that product and I just kind of shimmy it on up just like as big as this brush is that's where I shimmy up I just go ahead and blend out the rest just so that it's not so harsh I'm gonna go ahead and get that shape tape again and I'm just gonna clean the brows up a little bit and just with that same little brush that I was used I'm gonna go ahead and just clean my brows up a little bit here. I usually just clean right in this corner. And now if you guys want to, I don't really ever do this, but I'll clean up top here. 
especially because I made a little bit of boo-boos. Now I'm just gonna set them with my favorite brow gel and this is from Ulta, this is just Ulta brand. I'm just gonna go ahead and I brush up the top or this part, like I brush them up because I have like no hairs. So the last thing for the eyes, because I'm really just focusing on the eyes, is I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink eyeliner and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the line like right above where my crease is, like so you can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it I just started on the corner and then I just took it like halfway and I let it kind of fade out okay, so I'm gonna let that just sucker dry for just a second so one of my favorite things to do is put pink eyeliner in my waterline so I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On eyeliner it's kind of like a pinkish shimmery bright pink like directly in the waterline and on the lash line I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on that's done mascara for my bottom lashes Now for my top lashes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my absolute favorite Mexican mascara that you guys know that I'm like a sucker for. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a quick coat on that just before I put my false lashes. Okay, so my favorite lashes to use are the Ardell Double Wispies. I'm going to go ahead and just apply those um, really quickly. I don't know if I can do this on camera. That was so nerve-wracking. I can't do this on camera. I have to do it all. The last thing I'm going to do right now is go ahead and add my lipstick and my highlighter. So it's just the lip paint lipstick that you guys have seen multiple times. It is the TBH. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my Moon Child um, Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm just going to go into the pink heart because this is all pink. Just take this little brush because I don't really have like a uh, fan brush. And I'm just going to highlight the crap out of my face because I love highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on that period that my sister says. The last and final thing, you guys, I have to spray my setting spray. Oh, yes, Mario, get it. Look at this glow. These eyelashes. This whole look. Just made my life. Just made my life complete. All right, you guys. So make sure that you guys thumbs up this video, comment down below if you guys would like me to do any more makeup tutorials because I know I haven't done one in a really good minute. So if you guys like it, let me know. I'll make something else happen. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button right here or right here. I can't remember where it is, but just like, it's okay. Just once a week, come hang out with me. It'll be fine. <laughs> Alright you guys. Love you guys. I mean it. Appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. And until next time, keep that smile on your face because you know it's your best accessory. Bye!